Hi, welcome back to Baking with Nana. I've been away for a while, like two months, uh, with family coming in and staying and people getting sick. It's been a dilemma, but now I'm back again and I'll be starting up. Right now, I'm going to make a cheese nacho meatloaf, which is kind of cool. And I'll show you, start with a pound of hamburger meat or turkey, uh, beef, this one is beef. Um, you can do chicken, you can do all of that. And we start with the meat and we're going to put half a cup of salsa in. Yep, you heard me, half a cup of salsa. After I get it all out. And you can use any kind you want. I chose the uh, thick and chunky, mild. And put that in there. And then I'm gonna put some salt in. I put kosher salt in. You can just, and at least two of these little guys, if you want it to taste and some pepper, ground fresh pepper. It's not too bad. A little bit of chili lime, not a whole lot, just a little, about that much. You're flavoring it, not killing it. And then surprisingly enough, I'm gonna use some corn but what we're gonna do is take some of the liquid from the corn and put it in here. And then we're gonna do the corn. About uh, three tablespoons, not a whole, whole lot. And then the real fun part is using taco mix. You're gonna put that in A whole packet. I used again mild and then the surprise. I have to label my bags mom because if I don't they're gone. So we're gonna put that in and I crunched them all up and we're gonna put a whole oops, cup in. Maybe a tiny bit more. Boom. And now comes my fun part. I love doing this. You're gonna knead it so that it's all in here. If you wanna put two pounds and do pork and Hamburger meat, you can do that. Turkey. And you just keep mixing it. Just like this. You don't need any egg. And you don't, obviously, you don't need bread. But we're gonna make this into a meatloaf. I pre-spray the pan. Let me scoop this up. Make it. Set your oven at 350 and you're going to cook it for 35 minutes. And sometimes oven temperatures vary, so you may want to do 40 minutes. So check your meatloaf and see how it is. This is the harder part, but it all gets done and it fits perfectly in the pan. And then what you're gonna do is put a little bit of salsa on the top to cook it with. Whoops, in. I can't believe I did that. And just kind of spread it over the top. Just like this. Ta-da. And I'll show you this, whoops, when I get done and it comes out so you can see what it looks like. Until then, I'll see you in 35 minutes. Bye.
pie fat, and I've taken the cheese nacho meatloaf out of the oven. It did cook for 35 minutes, and it's perfect. And I'm gonna slice some, and we're gonna see. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yes, I think we need a fork. So, I'm gonna have to get some here. Let's see what this tastes like. I know my son would put uh, his ketchup on it, which is the uh, nacho. Let's see what this tastes like. That's tasty. Mmm. Yes. I would definitely serve that with rice, that cilantro and lime, and it'd be perfect. Till then, I'll see you in a couple of days, and I'm gonna be making something else, obviously. <laughs> but in the meantime, subscribe to me and stay kind and take care of one another. <laughs> Stay safe and be kind to one another. And if you can, subscribe to me. I'll see you in a few days. Bye.